Welcome everyone to the latest episode of the NetOps Expert. And as promised in episode four, our topic today is going to be about the recent exciting news about the AppNeta acquisition by Broadcom Software. So my name is Jeremy Rosbeck. I lead product marketing for the DX NetOps network monitoring solution at Broadcom Software. And I'm very excited to be joined today by Alec Pinkham, who leads product marketing for the AppNeta solution and has now joined the Broadcom Software family. So Alec, welcome to the NetOps Expert. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. I, I think there's a lot of things that the different capability sets are gonna start bringing together. So it's, a, it's an exciting time for sure. Very exciting time. So uh, as you know, we're gonna just do a little back and forth here and talk about why we're so excited about the news and why our customers should be so excited as well. And what does the combination of both products bring to the industry, especially around these ever-changing network, uh, uh, network monitoring challenges and network challenges our customers are facing today. So uh, our first topic is, is um, why the acquisition even happened? What do we think the gap is in network monitoring today? And why is resolving that gap so important for our customers? Yeah, from the AppNeta perspective, you know, AppNeta historically has always looked at end user performance and end user uh, experience from the edge, right? We've always been focused on trying to get as close to where the user sits as possible. And obviously over the past couple of years, that's evolved to the, the laptops. And that's not something that was new to us, but it was something that was new as a focus for network engineers and IT operations to actually say, hey, we really need visibility at the edge because now we don't own any of the network segments between the user's laptop and our data center, our headquarters, wherever our apps are hosted, there, there's a huge black box there. And so as that hybrid working environment kind of evolves, you know, our goal was always to ensure that we had that network and app visibility uh, independent of where the user sat. Right, location shouldn't be important for where the user is because we know hybrid work is kind of here to stay. Even the largest companies are doing some kind of model. And I think when you're talking about the monitoring side, location shouldn't matter. We should be able to see something from the network perspective and honestly understand the application experience. But from IT's perspective, it certainly matters, right? Location is a huge part of it. And as networks start to expand, uh, to kind of encapsulate the network edge. We've seen a lot of things with uh, SASE recently, which I know we'll get to. Um, but as we've seen that evolve, I think the the IT perspective is, is we need visibility into these locations. If we're gonna do anything because regardless of what happens, IT still has to troubleshoot it. They still have to fix it, even if they don't own it. And that's one of the biggest threats that we've seen. Yeah, and uh, I can say uh, uh, with uh, a lot of evidence here that uh, DX NetOps from Broadcom has had gaps beyond the edge in visibility, right? So we have been able for three plus decades uh, to provide assurance with enterprise data centers, within within data center, you know, four walls um, where traffic used to be for, you know, most of the 80s and 90s and maybe even to the beginning of the 2000s. The only time our customers would maybe go out to the internet and I remember this back in the days is just to check Yahoo or maybe go to a news site and most of your payroll and email and uh, any other corporate application just stayed within the four walls of the data center. And that is not the way network traffic uh, is today. It's not how the user experience is today. So combining the three plus decades of uh, data center network, enterprise network assurance uh, from Broadcom now with the visibility AppNeta provides beyond the edge over ISP, cloud network, SaaS user experience. Um, I, I'm sure you agree with me. I do truly believe we are providing network visibility anywhere and, and, and the combination of both solutions um, really fills the gap we've had for a while now. Yeah, and what's exciting from the AppNeta perspective is we've always looked at the middle mile, right? We've looked at the internet performance and, and sure, we're, we're looking end to end. So we're, we're getting some of the land, we're getting some of the data center, but our focus is kind of the network path that you're taking. The combination with DX NetOps means that you now have kind of an unprecedented like telemetry view as well as a network mapping view of like what else is around there, what else is going 
uh, going on on the local environment or wherever that user is to to affect performance and to uh, start, you know, allowing IT to troubleshoot at a, like kind of a true end to end view. Yeah, definitely. Uh, let's move on to the next topic. So um, you and I discussed uh, what we believe the gaps were um, and why they're important to our customers. But what is the industry or even industry analysts saying about these gaps? What are they seeing? Now, in my research, I know that um, a lot of the industry analysts out there, and I'm sure you'll agree, um, realize that the work from home experience or the work from anywhere experience has just exploded. Obviously. Um, the pandemic has a lot to do with that. I know Gartner says that by 2025, um, they expect 70% of the, the enterprise workforce to be remote. Um, I've al they've also said, and luckily, uh, that executives have already realized this and they're allocating a lot more of their budget to um, monitor and improve the work from anywhere, or work from home experience. Uh, what is your research show? Yeah, I, I think, one of the things is that that 70% stat is interesting. I feel like whenever we hear those stats, the first gut reaction to say like, no way, like that's not going to happen, especially in large enterprises. But the more you think about the different job roles and some of the different industries that we support, and the first one that comes to mind is things like BPOs or contact centers, where they, they have pretty much put everyone in remote places, is it may not feel like 70% is the real number, but I, I think it's going to be more accurate than we think because it allows a lot of these job roles that, yeah, certainly used to be in cubicle farms and in larger spaces to do it from home. The only thing that's interesting is that like the pandemic has kind of forced the hand of a lot of these enterprises to say like, hey, we have to make it work. And now they're starting to realize, oh, and now we don't have to have 50% of the office footprint we didn't we had before, right? We don't have to pay for the facilities. We just have to pay for, uh, you know, the machines that go in these people's houses. and in some very, very small circles, the internet connection uh, that allows them to do their job. But I think that's the interesting part for us is, you know, we read these statistics all the time and sometimes you just say like, that can't be right. Or that's, you know, that's directionally right, but they're they're really over overshooting it. But I think that's the part is we've realized that a lot of these are, are pretty correct. Um, the, the one interesting thing though that I've seen is that Gartner over the past couple of years, and, and I think they're not the only analyst. I know we, we have a couple other stats here that we wanted to get to, but Gartner's actually redefined or changed their definition of what kind of the network performance monitoring and diagnostics world looks like it, because it's gotten so wide, right? In in the oldest definition of you know network performance monitoring, uh, you'd have the Broadcom solution set and you'd have the Epneta solution set and you try to compare them and there's just no apples to apples comparison for anything but some of the metrics, right? There's obviously some overlaps in the metrics, but like where you get them from, how you're you know, bringing them up, if you're on-prem versus SaaS solution, like there's just so many different pieces there now that I think that's the interesting part that we've seen over the past couple of years uh, from the analyst perspective is this has not only changed the way that everyone works, but it's changed some pretty old markets in the sense of like what is actually possible or what should be the focus going forward. Totally agree. Um, and another uh, uh, another stat from industry analysts out there is that um, they do believe, and I'm sure a lot of our customers agree, that uh, nowadays a lot of network delivery and monitoring it is out of their control, right? Uh, because it's not held into the four walls of the data center. It's over internet, ISP networks, cloud networks. Um, and that's, you know, a lot of the gaps in visibilities that we talked about. Um, I know one industry analyst cited that close to 70% of surveyed respondents cite internet and cloud network paths as a monitoring blind spot. Um, they're looking for that highway to cloud assurance. You know, um, uh, our product manager now um, that, uh, runs the DX NetOps solution here at Broadcom, uh, tells a great story and you mentioned call centers. So imagine if, uh, Alec, you got into a minor fender bender, God forbid. Um, you had to call your insurance company and you said, listen, I'm on the side of the highway here and I need you to start a claim. And the representative at the call center said, I'm sorry, Alec, but uh, I seem to be having internet issues right now. Can't help you. <laughs> Um, that can't happen 
it just it literally can't happen anymore um the it team at that call center needs to be responsible for the entire uh end user experience and network delivery of it even if it's over networks they don't own uh anymore that's just the reality today so tell me your thoughts on that well and it's funny you bring up call centers and i don't want to spend all of our time talking about those but that's one of the ones that we've noticed has been very affected by the pandemic in the sense that because they've moved people from home because they're relying on you know probably low quality asymmetric residential links right they have a lot of network issues and this is one of the times in networking where you can say there's a direct tie to revenue there's a direct tie to customer satisfaction when performance degrades on the network. And that's something that we don't always see, right? We often see uh, slower applications that you know impact productivity, but we don't often see like, hey, we had to pull 20% of our uh, call center staff off the lines because they had poor network performance and therefore couldn't hold a call. And that increased wait times by X percent, right? We don't often see those kind of direct ties. And I think that's a really good example of where we're going to see kind of network performance and the I, basically IT's role in correcting that performance start to expand uh, over the next couple of years. Once again, thank you so much for joining me today and so excited you joined the Broadcom Network Monitoring Solution and Marketing Team. Um, I know our customers are going to be seeing both of us a lot together uh, as we continue to um, talk about the integrations of both solutions and uh, really just help our customers expand their visibility, which I know a lot of them have been desiring to do for so long. So uh, again, thank you for joining us today. And you'll see us next time on the next episode of the NetOps Expert. Hey, stay tuned for part two of this exciting conversation about Broadcom's acquisition of AppNeta in the next episode of the NetOps Expert.